I'm Zili Jia from George Mason University. Today I'm going to present our work uh, on designs and challenges of instrumenting open with switch with monitoring capabilities. This is our joint work with NIST, uh, and two of my collaborators are also in the audience today. So let's begin. And network management is really important since it plays an essential role in various management tasks. In recent years, with advancement of software-defined networking, uh, lots of works have been proposed to enhance existing measurement schemes. Here's the overall architecture of a software-defined network. Uh, in order to collect the flow stats information, the monitoring applications running on top of the controllers have to periodically pull the stats from the underlying switches. However, existing solutions are uh, built on top of the native open with switch designs and neither flexible nor programmable. If you look into the structures uh, of the flow table entries on open with switch, you can find that uh, the forwarding and monitoring func functions are tightly bound, which makes it inflexible to meet the dynamic monitoring needs of different applications. Uh, this is how uh, Yeoman, one of our early works, is proposed. Uh, Yeoman decouples monitoring from forwarding by introducing an independent monitoring module in the user space. Um, so, uh, uh, to, to build monitoring capabilities into the open way switch, there are several challenges we need to address. Uh, first, uh, we need to ensure minimal implementation complexities as well as minimal interferences with the forwarding path in order to guarantee the forwarding and monitoring efficiency. And besides, we also want to strike a balance among various factors, including the resource consumption and measurement accuracy. Uh, to help us understand more about the specific designs of our proposed frameworks, uh, let's first take a look at the architecture of Yuma. Uh, as we just mentioned, um, Yuma um, builds a separate monitoring module in the user space, uh, which also provides programmable interfaces for upper layer applications. And more specifically, uh, it maintains a monitoring table as well as subflow tables to maintain the flow stats information. Uh, in the monitoring table, it defines um, different uh, mega flow monitoring rules. And corresponding to each mega flow monitoring rule, uh, there is a separate subflow table that collects flats, uh, uh, flow stats um, uh, for the subflows that um, belong to this mega flow monitoring rule. So to kind of give you a general idea of how this works, uh, here's a very simple example. For example, uh, if we have two flow rules that are generated by the float table pipeline in the user space that specifies actions for the packets towards different destination hosts. However, if the users uh, need to collect the total packet counts towards port 80, <coughs> as well as uh, the packet counts of the, sub, sub, uh, of the subflows, uh, from different source host to, towards port 80. If we simply install these two flow rules generated by the, pi by the table pipeline into the flow table in the kernel space, it only collects uh, the total packet counts towards different destination hosts. So uh, to achieve the monitoring capabilities defined by the user, uh, Yumon combines the forwarding rule with the monitoring rule in order to generate uh, more fine-grained forwarding rules. Uh, this, uh, here is uh, the, uh, the forwarding rule generated by Yuma are listed, are listed out here in this case. So uh, also Yuma minimizes implementation complexity by introducing no monitoring module, uh, by, int by introducing no extra component in the kernel space. There are several, uh, several potential uh, problems. First, um, the kernel flow cache can get bloated during the peak traffic. Besides, uh, the handler and revalidator threads can get, get heavily loaded due to the frequent up calls from the kernel into the user space, as well as the flow stats aggregation performed by the revalidator threads in the user space. So to address these uh, issues uh, in our work, we first proposed two on pass F uh, designs, uh, the on pass F cap and on pass S mom. Uh, in the user space, the monitoring module as well as the programmable interfaces exposed to the upper layer monitoring applications uh, have similar designs as human. However, in the kernel space, we uh, propose to decouple the for uh, monitoring from forwarding by introducing a separate filtering table, uh, which maintains the filtering rules used to classify the incoming packets based on the user-defined monitoring tasks. Uh, using the same example with just, as we just discussed, the monitoring application 
uh, installs a filtering rule that specifies the destination port of 80 uh, into the filtering table. And incoming packets are first being matched against in the, in the uh, kernel flow cache before being uh, looked up in the filtering table. Only the packets that are determined to be relevant to a user-defined monitoring tasks. In this case, uh, only the packets that have the destination port of 80 will be updated towards uh, the custom end table table, which will get periodically exported to the user space. And in our designs, we create a custom thread in the user space that is in charge of um, uh, retrieving the packet uh, retrieving the flow stats from the end table table and aggregate those flow, flow stats in the monitoring table as well as the subflow tables, uh, which can be further queried by the upper layer monitoring applications. So for uh, the own pass designs, we propose both uh, FCAP and SMO, uh, which are in, in different in the way of how this custom end table table is implemented. In FCAP, we um, use a straightforward uh, linked list hash table uh, to maintain the flow stats, uh, while in FMOM, in SMOM, we compress those flow stats in the invertible Bloom filter lookup table, uh, which is a space efficient um, probabilistic data structures and different uh, in order to save our memory space. Uh, compared to FCAP, in SMOM, we need the user space uh, thread to decode those flows that are encoded in the Bloom filter lookup table. So those flow stats uh, can be aggregated into the monitor table and the subflow tables in the user space. So uh, intuitively, uh, the placement of the monitoring function on the same path of the forwarding pipeline uh, may introduce extra processing delay to the forwarding path. So to, uh, we consider this issue and further propose a buffering mechanism in order to take the monitoring function off the forwarding path. Here for the off-path designs, uh, the filtering table and the custom end table table are designed in similar ways as the on-path uh, counterparts. Uh, and uh, we create a custom thread in the kernel that uh, will Will, uh, that is in charge of the flow stats uh, collection in the custom table. And this ring buffer we introduced uh, maintains two pointers. Uh, one is for the forwarding process to make copies of the incoming packet headers. And the other pointer is for the kernel thread we created uh, to retrieve the packet headers and uh, collect the flow stats in this custom end table, end table table. Uh, so far, we have discussed some high-level ideas of our proposed frameworks. Um, next, uh, I'd like to present some of our evaluation results. In our experiment, we evaluate the performance of the different monitoring designs uh, from various perspectives. Our, te uh, our test bed consists of three machines. The OVS and the um, host are connected through 10 gigabits per second cables. Uh, and the host uh, serves as both the packet generator and the data sync. Um, the OVS machine is connected to the SDN controller uh, running you. Uh, here on the right hand side, we show the total, total CPU utilization of all related threads for the different um, monitoring designs. As we can find here, the human incurs uh, highest CPU utilization, uh, while the off pass incurs less CPU overhead than SMON. Since, as we uh, just uh, uh, discussed, the SMON requires a, in, a complex sketch encoding and decoding operations for the st uh, stats collection in both the kernel and the user space. We further conduct uh, experiments to measure the memory consumption as well as the monitoring accuracy. And here, as is shown in this table, we find that the off-pass designs introduce uh, significant less, uh, significantly less uh, processing delay uh, here, uh, is, uh, which is around one-third of the processing delay uh, compared to the on-pass uh, designs. Uh, however, in order to achieve the same measurement accuracy, it requires higher memory usage due to the use of the ring buffer since the ring buffer has to be sufficiently large in, in order to accommodate all the incoming packet headers. Uh, compared to the uh, FCAP, the SMO requires less um, 
memory usage, uh, since it compresses uh, those flow states in the Bloom filter lookup table, but uh, we, it introduces uh, no significant uh, accuracy loss. And we also conduct an experiment to measure the memory usage uh, of the different designs under various monitoring workloads. As we can find here, uh, the human uh, incurs the highest memory usage, while SMON is uh, the most memory efficient, uh, which explain, uh, is, is explained uh, earlier. And to further study the, uh, the impact of our monitoring functions on the overall switching performance, we use the DBDK-based packet generator MoonGen to generate high-speed traffic. Uh, here we show the throughput and the latency of the different monitoring designs under various monitoring workloads. Uh, we can find that human achieves the lowest throughput uh, and the highest uh, latency. However, the off pass uh, brings the minimal impact on the overall switching performance. And here is the overall comparison of the pros and cons of the different monitoring designs for, uh, in terms of different metrics. Uh, from this table, we can obtain the following insights. Uh, first of all, human requires the least implementation efforts uh, since it uh, requires no modifications to the kernel code base. Uh, besides, the off-pass, the F-cap, uh, the off-pass designs outperform the on-pass de designs in terms of both the resource consumption as well as uh, the impact on the switching performance. Uh, but uh, it requires, uh, uh, with acceptable memory usage, and the hash table is more efficient than Sketch due to its lower computational cost. And based on the above discussions, uh, we know that the off-pass F-cap, uh, the off-pass F-cap um, gives the best performance in terms of both the resource com consumption as well as the switching performance. To conclude our work, uh, enabling monitoring capabilities into OVS has to take various factors into consideration. And our work proposed uh, four different monitoring designs and explored in depth the trade-offs among various factors and um, provide uh, some guide, uh, insightful guidelines for the traffic measurement in real-world deployment. And thank you for your attention, and I'm happy to take questions. Do we have 